Okay, welcome. Hold up. It's all black. That's better. We finally got a blackout fully sorted again. Oh my God, it's like bliss. It's beautiful in here now. We can get some decent lighting put up. And in that respect, we've got a shoot this morning that I'm gonna do in here, which required this. We put off for a little bit. So we got some metal uh, springs that we've got to photograph. We've bought some special, um, hmm, what are they called? Bought some metal, anyway, sheets of metal that we're gonna shape and do different things, have different lights through, but we're also gonna do video with it as well. So hence needing the blackout because actually we want to capture that. And we could have probably bodged around with it, but it's a real pain in the backside. So this will be a lot easier. So let's go and set this up and see how we go. We've got a issue that I want to do some of this with photos and some of it with video. So really I'm going to start with video and sort the light out and then worry about the photos afterwards. I am going to have to use flash for some of it because I do want to use a bit of smoke in it later as well. Um, and I want a certain effect that I'm only going to get with a strobe. So we'll try that out, but let's see how we go. Obviously I've just got to set it with the lights. We're not compositing this in any sense because we can't, it's video. So what I've done is we've, we've got the light pointing at the back there. I want a light for the front of the product here, which is white. So I'm building a little rig across so I can just put a light and we're going to put a flag there to stop it going onto the background. Um, if I had more of this sheet metal and it was deeper, then I could stretch it out and do stuff with that. But I haven't, can't do anything about it. So we're just going to make it this way. Okay, a little rig across there. Just need a little clamp now. That should do it. I'm gonna put the light onto this. And then we're gonna have that card onto there so we get a bit of gaffer tape. Actually, this isn't gaffer tape. This is a different type of tape, but it's just as sticky for stuff, but it's not, doesn't leave any residue and it's easy to tear, easy to use. It is absolutely perfect for this type of thing. So, right, let's turn the lights out and see what we get. Da, 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 da. Okay, so what I'm doing is just positioning that flag at the moment so that it doesn't go onto the product at the front, but it's enough just to light the background. And I think we've got that. I'm just gonna bring that in there a little bit like that. Okay, and just re-bend this slightly. That's a bit better. That's looking good. So I'm just gonna take a shot like that, actually. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, so we've put a slider on. Now we're just turning the lights on. What we're actually doing is recording several swipes of this so that we can merge the footage all into one. That'd be better if I stand here. So yeah, at the moment it's sliding across, it's doing its thing. Put the, another Z50 on for doing this, just cause it's really light, works well with the slider. It's still 4K footage, it's great for what we want to do. The 850 is too heavy, too bulky. So that's gone all the way across now with that one. And then we'll stick a different spring in. Set it to manual focus. Okay, so we're doing the slide across and what we've got here is we've got all the mesh in the background, all lit by blue, Aperture MC, which is just behind that card there. We've got another Aperture light, um, which I can't remember which one it is, just the white one, just bouncing down. And we've got the card at the front just to stop it going, spilling onto the blue. You can s you probably can see a line across there. So it's gonna separate that across. We've got, you probably can't see that. Let's just turn that around. We've got a slider here with another Z50 on because um, it's nice and light to go across and it's just going across and we're doing multiple runs of that and we've got different springs. So each time we're changing the spring over so that we can do this morph effect. Hopefully it's worked. Let's see what it looks like.
Okay, for this shot now, so we've reset all this, we've actually gone and bought in. Let's go around here. Smoke machine, yes. So we're gonna try and pump smoke under this grill that's here and have it rise up, have a product in the front, have all nice mesh around the back, all with a colour lit as well. Yeah, great experiment. All right, let's get on it. Okay, so we've built a little cage all around here so the smoke does rise and rise through that. That's the theory. Hmm. Got this now, we've got the light coming in at the back there and you probably can't see my hand, just at the back there, we've got the light, blue light coming through. We've got the subject at the front, we've shined off, shined off, whatever that means. We've cordoned off the light, the white light coming down the front there, so it's just on the product. Now, we get to experiment with the uh, smoke. Okay, it's a bit smoky around here. <laughs> So using the smoke, we have set a little scene up here. So as you can see, we've got the white light just coming down the front. We've got the blue light on the gorilla pod there, just coming down there. But that's what we're getting onto the screen. There we go. That's coming through quite nice. A few different ones of smoke, just so I can see. Okay, hope you liked all that lot. The, just a quick note, on the water droplets that were on that last product, or one of the products, it was actually glycerine mixed with water, so they stayed and didn't run off. Um, it's a little tip, get a little bottle of glycerine, put a little bit in, so feel sort of 50-50, with your water sprayed on, won't go. Your water droplets stay there all perfectly. Um, but yeah, use that quite often. So that's it, so all this lot now, it's got to be packed away. It's the worst bit of the shoot. Hope you enjoyed all that. Nice to see that sort of stuff and how we do those sort of things. It's good to have a play. If you have any ideas and suggestions you'd like to see us do, then drop a comment down below and we'll see what we can sort out in the studio and what we can get done for you. Like and subscribe to see future stuff. Really appreciate it. It does mean a lot. And look forward to seeing you on the next one.